Okay, so I just uh, cleansed my face and uh, I've not put moisturizer, but I'm going to just show you how wonderful the Honey Glow is. If you are you have no habit of putting moisturizer and sunblock in the day, you can consider the Honey Glow as a replacement to your um, sunblock and makeup base. Okay, so you just... Uh, hello. Hi, May. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hi. Hello, hello. Okay, so instead of using sunblock, you can use the Honey Glow. I mean, replacement of the sunblock. This one has honey, peony, it's very good for the skin. And it also gives you a very nice um, luminosity to the skin. So it's just like, you can see the difference, right? So yeah, if you don't put moisturizer in the day, this can be a good replacement. SPF 35. And it's a very good um, makeup base. Alright, so. Hello those who just came on. Alright. Today I'm going to do a makeup. I have no idea what I'm going to call it yet. Um, but I watched the uh, Nureon Wo Tui Ta. Um, and they have this new uh, makeup look called uh, Hong Tou Sa <laughs> Red Bean <laughs> Azuki yeah. um, It's an interpretation of um, the Korean trend And that's called the Brick Brick um, Makeup Look uh, Brick Red Brick Autumn Brick Whichever Brick uh. So yeah there is this uh reddish uh, makeup look that is going around right so i'm gonna try um attempting it and you're gonna watch it together okay so this is what honey glow does so i just i decided to put a bit more mm -hmm. okay so it gives a good uh finish onto your base for those who wants to share to their friends you you may carry on um sharing right i uh, don't have to like ask me it's okay and I'm in the latest um, habit of using a matte, a matte uh, foundation. And I'm Ivory W130, that's my um, skin color. So, hello, Wei, how are you? I saw your IG, you're not feeling well. Mm, must eat more antioxidant, okay? Mm. Think positively will help you. Not fall sick so easily. <laughs> okay. Alright, so simple base. And I bought this top just to match this makeup. <laughs> oh, I was online and I saw this colour. That's quite nice. And we're now very in this kind of warm um reddish brick look. Okay, so today's makeup is Hong to, Hong to makeup. <laughs> I don't know how to say le in English. I know English is brick na brick. Um, but there is this new trend. It's called a Hong to makeup. Hong to sa makeup. I don't know. I don't know how to. But we will see how it turns out. Okay. Okay, nice base. Um, so if you use Honey Glow under a matte makeup, uh, matte makeup foundation, your face is still gonna glow like this. It's um got a very nice finish. Mm, okay, and then we're going to put uh, powder on to set it. You can choose not to if you don't want. But I prefer translucent powder that gives you a setting uh, finish. Mm -hmm. Hello to those who just came on. Today is Saturday. Most of us are not out. <laughs> um, I'm going out at later, five, uh, 6 o'clock. Because I'm going to uh, go for a baby shower. So I'm in my t-shirt and shorts because I know we are going to be like um, outdoor. And my daughter is coming with me. Uh, the other one is having a play date with her friends. So, alright, so we're going to attempt this together. Where is it? Oh, here. Alright, so um, if you watch my live recently, you'll realize, you'll notice that uh, Mary Kay gave me a makeup uh, new makeup range. This is this month's promotion, uh, limited edition. So this is the few colors that they gave um, for this month's promotion, and they gave me this um, tenacious tope lip. I'm gonna do this look together with you. So this is rose gold, pomegranate, and hummingbird, and blusher is wineberry. So I've uh, prepared this palette so that y'all can. See, 
So apply the rose gold first. With whatever brush you have, lah. Huh? So, uh, use the eyebrow blending one. Okay. So there's a few. This is the. Mm, I'm not gonna find it anyway. It's somewhere wrong. Okay. So, uh, pomegranate, just at the corner. We're gonna go high. Okay, I want to I want this look to have more depth. So we're gonna go high. Higher than usual. And when you're blending, don't touch the highlighter. Just very small circular upwards. And you can give this like a slight blend towards the end. You can see the difference, okay? And just here. Alright. Uh, let me see if I have another brush. Mm. Then take a feather um, bla um, blending brush. Mary Kay, all over eyeshadow. And just blend. Make sure that there's no hard lines. So you get a... Uh, oops. Wait, I'll just let me clean this. Let me just know that it was... It's okay, just like is that okay? Okay. So sometimes our brushes have remnants of um the yesterday's makeup. <laughs> okay, so this is good. Okay, now how you do again? You go as close to the lash line and build it up. And as you're building, spread it, push it inwards. Never push your eyeshadow outwards because it's gonna make you look um not complete and not very nice because uh, makeup has a, a little technique so always go inwards and build it up okay. okay this is pomegranate so it's really very nice but we're going to blend it further so just for now why oh, so many people online hello i have 40 watching me now thank you for watching on a saturday afternoon to a no name makeup look okay so we're going to make sure this one. Okay, I can see that this one is not very good. So remember, we had our blending brush. We're just going and uh, not blending the brand, uh, beauty blender. We're just going to clean it up. Okay, we got it. Hmm. So uh, with makeup. You don't need to be like so scared because you can always correct as long as you know how to correct. Okay, this is nice. I'm going to draw eyeliner. So yeah, I have a tip for you. If you can't draw your eyeliner very well, you take a corner of the... And then you can just lift this up. Especially if your eyes are saggy and not tight and not firm anymore. You can do this. I have I'm intentionally drawing it thicker because I have one more colour to load. So I need a bit more space. So this Mary Kay eyebrow eyeliner very easy to draw. And if you are like me who has a little bit of uh, more, my eyes a little bit smudgy, I'm going to teach you a technique to make sure that you don't uh, smudge your eye. Okay, so this one is good. So I don't know where the cover is. Okay, take an angled brush like this. Okay, take a uh, hummingbird. This is the color. So we're just going to line. The hummingbird is a is a very interesting color. It's got like dual tone. I tried it on its own. And it's very pretty, but 
that is not the look I'm looking for today because I'm I want to match this outfit. Okay, so we're just gonna line this. For those who just came on and you want to share this to your friend, please just um, share, okay? Just pass it to your... Uh, if Especially if your friend is wants to buy this colour and don't know how to use it. Okay, wait, huh? So how is everybody uh, surviving in the... Um, staying at home? <laughs> I'm actually really quite enjoying this. Um, I think I can like catch a breath and do things, plan, uh, spend time with the family, which is really good. <laughs> Alright, so... Falsies, uh, for me, if for you, you are using mascara, then you just carry on. Okay. Hello to those who just came on. Tomorrow, I'm just going to do something. Tomorrow, I'm just going to... We decided that we want to bake. <laughs> mm, bake for Titi butter cookies. And the children want sea salt chocolate cookies so we are going to spend our time tomorrow baking i really help i really bake this afternoon a eh? um sausage and egg muffin for the small one so she's having her tea now okay right very nice okay let me just okay. take an angled brush And take hummingbird again, and then we just line. Rose gold. Okay, not bad. And eyebrows. I think I do a little bit straight today. Straight eyebrows. Brunette. The trend in 2020 is thin eyebrows. Very sad. I don't like it. But anyway, so because I don't like, I think thin eyebrows makes us look old. So we'll see how the trend evolves. Okay. And also the trend for 2020 is glossy lips. Um. Yeah. So I'm going to teach you a technique shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Let me do my eyebrows. First.
So this is like very nice red eyelid. And it's um this pomegranate eye colour is matte, so it's very trendy. Just like I match it with heart, rose gold that's a bit glossy. This is the lip uh, tope. So this is also one look if you uh, you like um, like very nude lips. This is a very nice lip look. Wait, just let me adjust my nose. Okay. Okay. Use a uh, wine berry. Wine berry and then straighten. Okay, and then diffuse it up. Okay. Wine berry gives you a very warm. Uh, reddish tone which I like. It's not very in very in this type of uh okay. then always make sure that you blend your here and cheeks well. Go if you wanna go as close to your nose then make sure it's really light like really light so that it looks like you're nice and simply flushed. Okay Where I'm going to? I'm going to Shan's birthday shower. <laughs> but I just wanted to use red today. A uh, brick, a uh, brick color. Okay. What I want to do? Okay, wait. Uh. See, my this one broke away. So sad. Okay. Highlight. Okay, I'm gonna like teach you all something and. Especially for a nude lip like this, this is a nice look, right? But if let's say you want to enhance it further, you can take the pomegranate and put on your lips. Because the trend for 2020 is that the center of the lips is um, redder, okay? And you can create uh, this kind with this kind of effect with an eyeshadow. You, know, you don't need to bring like two lipstick or whatever. Uh, so you can apply like that. So the pomegranate lipstick with the tenacious tope can give you this kind of uh, lips. Don't have to apply on the whole lips, just only in the center. Okay, another tip that I'm going to give to you is that if you're a Mary Kay consultant or a, a customer, you're, you definitely will have this um, uh, gloss from our previous um, lip lacquer sealer. Now you can use this. And it's not to seal it, but it's to give it a gloss. Cause 2020's trend is also the gloss is back. Okay. Hmm. So if you have a tenacious tope and you want to just spruce it up, you can use it this manner with pomegranate uh, eye color and a sealer. Yeah, nice, right? Okay. Um, this one and then you spray your face. Mm. Uh, Banks is in this season. So however you choose to have it, get your stylist to cut um, it tapered like, like this way, like there's tail here. So you can ask them to cut. And you have a color, then you just curl out like, you know, like, now I'm gonna fix it lah, but you're just going to like can you can also do this like this right and curl here so you you have like a more natural okay I choose to put a bit heavier because my um, hair looks better when I have a little bit more. So you can curl it this way and 
eventually by the end of the day the wind blow then they will just split mm. <laughs> and my hair I have not styled but just an example so I need to just touch up my hair color. so I've not styled so what I will do is I will curl it Oh, now curl this way. Now I look very young. Do you realize I'm looking very young? No. <laughs> okay, anyway, so lame and it's so so lame. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm gonna just take a um, photo and show you all what I, I did. So this is the um uh promotion limited edition this month. Uh feel fierce, I think. Yeah, with the tenacious tope that I taught y'all how to um, style up put and put pomegranate eye, eye shadow on it and use our Mary Kay um, sealer to give you this look then it's gonna make you look very young and very approachable although you're using um, a red color but it's still gonna match and always wear something warm as in like um, colors that are very warm to match your makeup look then people will find that you look very approachable because that's how you um, well likability likability is so important in uh, a sales business or any whatever you choose to do so you can use this makeup look for mustard mm, mustard colored tops uh, royal green color tops uh, it doesn't go very well in blue, uh, but this maroon is good. If you have like a light pink, this makeup look will also go very well. And um, it doesn't go very well in black, so I wouldn't suggest you to wear black with this. Um, yeah, just go for colors. Uh. So this is a, a very in um, brick, brick, brick red, autumn red uh, makeup look. And for the Chinese who are into the Taiwanese uh, style, this is Dou Sa Ho Dou Hong Dou Sa look. <laughs> this is the kind of color Azuki Azuki beans look. Yeah, this is like a red bean uh, makeup look. Okay, I hope you all like it. Go and give it a try. This is uh, really very approachable. People will like it a lot, and you're gonna look very young. Uh, like you're gonna look like you're uh, twenty something. <laughs> and I also started buying clothes the 20 something the 18 19 year old wear I've been like looking at their Instagram so they like to wear this kind of like crop tops with can see belly you know so I thought it was quite fun and it's only costing me like, less than ten dollars for a top like this because anyway if I don't want to wear anymore I'll give away <laughs> but it's just to look good on photos okay so I hope you all enjoy this uh, give it a try very nice. I do not. I will not be lying. Uh, liquid eyelining this. Just uh, using the hummingbird uh, eyeliner that I, I loaded on. So just okay. Gotta go. Gotta go and fix my hair and go for baby shower. Bye bye.